In this video, I'd like to continue talking about arithmetic series by looking at several different example problems. And the way to approach these problems is to use the formula which we derived in a previous video. So remember that if you have an arithmetic series where they sum to, let's just call it S sub N, where N is the amount of terms. So S sub N is our sum. This will be equal to the number of terms multiplied by the first term plus the last term, which we can call A sub N, all divided by two. And the easiest way to remember this formula is that you're taking an average of the first and the last term and multiplying it by the number of terms you have. So this is our formula, and to use it, we just need to know the first term, the last term, and the total amount of terms. So going to our specific example problem, we do know the first term. Let me use a slightly darker color. This is a sub 1, and the last term we can call a sub n. But the tricky part of this problem is we don't know exactly how many terms there are, but we can figure that out. Since notice the common difference, the number we're adding from one term to the next looks to be nine, and we can call that D. Again, that is our common difference. And we also know the explicit formula for a sequence, or in particular, an arithmetic sequence. So if we're looking for, let's say, the nth term in our sequence, so let me call that a sub n. So I'll write this out. This is the nth term in our arithmetic sequence. This term can be found by looking at the first term, which I'll just stick with a sub 1 here, plus the common difference multiplied n minus 1 times. So we're going to add that common difference n minus 1 times to get to the last term. So if this is our a sub n, which we're looking for, then we just have to find the first term, which we did, the common difference, which is 9, and then multiply it by n minus 1. And so we'll get an equation where we can solve for n the number of terms. So let's do that. We know, let me do this right here. We know the nth term, that's 168. And we know the first term, that's minus 111. And then we're going to add that common difference, which is 9, n minus 1 times. So let's add 111 to each side to be able to solve this. So plus 168 plus 11 would be 179, plus 100 would be 279. And this is equal to 9 multiplied by n minus 1. Let's divide each side by 9. 9 goes into 27 three times. There's no remainder. 9 goes into 9 one time. So you get 31 is n minus 1. And just adding 1 to the other side, you find out that there are 32 terms. So if we don't know how many terms there are, we can use the formula, the explicit formula, to find that nth term and set up an equation involving n, the number of terms. Since we know the first term and we know the last term, and we also know that common difference. So now with all of this in mind, let's plug in what we know to our formula to find the sum. So the sum, and actually now we know n, so I can just replace that with 32. So the sum of these 32 numbers is equal to the amount of terms we have, which is 32, multiplied by the first term, minus 111, plus the last term, 168. And we'll divide everything by 2. We're just taking the average of that first and that last term. And plugging everything into a calculator, our final sum here is 912. And of course, you could do this by hand, but it's fairly tedious. If you want to check your work that way, you certainly can. But the formula definitely works as long as you get the correct n value and the first value and the last value. So we can put 912 into our box here, and let's try another problem. And this one's going to look a little bit different since this sequence is defined recursively, and we need to sum the first 48 terms in the sequence. So let's write out what our sum will be. So we know there are 48 terms in the sum, so we'll have S sub 48. 
And we also know the first term is minus 29. And it looks like to find the ith term, we'll take the term before that and then add two. So this two here, this is our common difference, D. So the next term would be minus 27. So adding negative 27, we're really just subtracting 27. And minus 25, then minus 23, and so on. Or really, I can leave it as minus, since that's what it'll be for a while. But eventually, these will become positive when you add 2 enough times. So we need to figure out what the 48th term in the sequence will be. And for that, we're going to, again, use that explicit formula. So remember to find the nth term. We'll take the first term and add that common difference n minus 1 times. So we want the 48th term. So a sub 48 will be our first term, minus 29, plus that common difference, 2, multiplied by n minus 1. So in this case, n is 48. So this will be 47. So 48 minus 1 is 47. And we can simplify. So we have minus 29 plus 2 times 47 is really just 94. And if we take away 30 from 94, that gives us 64. And we'll add one back. So 65 will be our last term here. So we can put plus 63 plus 65. So this is our sum. And let's use our formula again. Since we know the formula, S sub n, it's the number of terms multiplied by the first term plus the last term, all divided by 2. And plugging in our numbers into this formula here, so S sub 48, let me make just a bit more room here. We know there are 48 terms, and we know the first one is minus 29, the last one is 65. We'll divide all of that by 2, and we'll need a calculator for this. And our final sum of these first 48 terms is going to be 864. So that'll be our final answer there.